I can't believe Brooklyn's a WWE superstar now. I can't believe I have to be her partner. It's good she no longer has any authority, but it feels like she's even more ingrained in our lives. At least it's now legal for you to punch her in the face. <laughs> Again, I have to be her partner. She's not worse than Kurt Hawkins. The guy hasn't won a singles match in over a decade. At least you got to choose him. I didn't have any say in this. It wasn't like I had a ton of good options. Look, all that aside, I just have a feeling this isn't going to end well for anyone. Well, at least I can still make the best of a bad situation and win some money for charity. Hey, even though I might have the walking decade of defeat as my partner, I still plan on winning the Mixed Match Challenge. Same here. So I guess we'll just see whose crappy team flounders its way to the top. Hmm. Hmm. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. one fall. Introducing first, from Manila, Philippines, weighing in at 241 pounds, the World Heavyweight Champion, Ace. The atmosphere inside this arena for this one is absolutely insane, guys. And if you think this is insane, just wait until this thing kicks into high gear. You ain't seen nothing yet. Byron, tell me, how do you think the champ looks heading into this one? I'm impressed, Michael. Sometimes you see a champion look a little less motivated when the title is not on the line. But that's clearly not the case here tonight. It's the MMA juggernaut, Brooklyn Vaughn Braun. And from Fulton, New York, the American hero, Brooklyn Vaughn Braun. Let's discuss Brooklyn's nickname, the American hero. Do you think it's disrespectful toward Kurt Angle? Of course not. There are a lot of American heroes, not just one. Kurt needs to get over himself. things in WWE. Yep. Yeah, like, uh, let's see, getting fired. Like uh, starting the yep movement by yep. big time matches at WrestleMania. Yep. Yeah, ripping off somebody else. Really creative. Yep. Cole gets it, Saxton. Why don't you? Yep. He's being condescending. Yep. And people seem to forget how beloved Sami Zayn was. Now all anybody wants to do is complain about him. Well, it's because Sami's changed. Sami hasn't changed. The world around him has. The war goddess! And from Dallas, Texas, You can thank Hall of Famer Woo! Booker T for much of Ember Moon's success. Woo! 
She clearly looks to be in great shape, but Corey, is she mentally prepared for this match here tonight? Well, she better be, because if she's not, I can guarantee that tonight is going to be a very short night for her. This is a historic night as our former GM, Brooklyn Von Braun, makes her highly anticipated in-ring debut in WWE, replacing the injured Ronda Rousey. I still can't believe Brooklyn and Trey are partners. I mean, talk about an unlikely pairing. They've been at each other's throats for like 20 years. Well, we'll have to see if their adversarial pass affects the American hero's ability to work together in the Mixed Match Challenge. I guess Brooklyn came up with that team name. Real creative. Hey, at least it's not as bad as their opponents who call themselves the Moons over my Sammy. <laughs> I gotta like that. Yeah, I bet you do. Oh, turning the momentum to his favor. Just producing an onslaught. Oh, what a kick. From the apron. And Sami Zayn reverses it. Into a small package. Very, very nice. Two. Carefully measured knee drop. Three. Sami Zayn with the offense. Bang right in the face. That'll turn your lights out. And Sami Zayn exploiting the opening. Smart. Back now inside the ring. Five. 2017's Hell in a Cell was a memorable night due to one of the most unforeseen actions in WWE's recent history. You would think, Michael, that Shane McMahon leaping off Hell in a Cell with Kevin Owens as his target would be the landmark moment we would be talking about. But it was Sami Zayn's sudden rescue of Owens that became the water cooler conversation. Tag in. He's climbing. Oh, look out. And Sami Zayn reverses it. Wow, missed by a mile. Oh. Had that one well scouted. Five. Oh my God. Boom, what impact. On the topic of Sami Zayn's miraculous rescue, allow me to properly paint the picture. Kevin Owens saw that white light. His soul separated from his body and he ascended to the pearly white gates and as he stood there, St. Peter himself said. Wait a second, it appears Brooklyn wants Trey to attempt the same double team maneuver that injured Ronda Rousey. Is she trying to prove she could do it better? I don't know, but it looks like Trey's not quite sure about this after what happened to Ronda. Perfect execution by the American heroes. An impressive win for the new team of Trey and Brooklyn Von Braun. I'm still not sure what to think about these two teaming. It's very strange. It looks like Trey's still trying to get used to it as well. I told you guys a hundred times, Brooklyn's a professional. She likes winning much more than she dislikes Trey. And here comes Trey's best friend, Red, for their mixed match challenge match. Hey, good luck. Well, that was awkward. You don't want to read too much in anything, but it certainly looked like Red just ignored Trey altogether. Well, it's obvious Red is upset about Trey teaming with Brooklyn, but she'd better get over it fast or it's going to end up costing her team this match. As this mixed match challenge match begins, we have to consider the possibility that Red's team could end up facing Trey and Brooklyn Von Braun at some point. Well, given what we know about Brooklyn's ability to get under Red's skin, that could definitely be a 
volatile situation. You would think that since this whole thing's for charity, that everyone would be able to manage their emotions, but if Brooklyn triggers hot head red, all bets are off. Oh, what a kick to the face. Oh, my God. Snap suplex. Very nice. Great way to break down your opponent. Back suplex. Oh, stomping away. Changes her fortune there. Oh. <laughs> Kick right to the midsection. With authority. Ooh, bullseye. Oh, what a kick. She steers clear there. Anticipated that attack perfectly. The running Meteora. Harsh impact. And scissors Ooh, take down. Oh, oh. Very nice. Ruby Raya turns it around. In an early pin attempt by Ruby Raya. As we know, guys, Aleister Black's greatest strength has always been his kicking ability, which, Corey, you can trace all the way back to his MMA-style training. But I don't care where you trace it back to, Cole. The bottom line is there's almost no defending it. Simply put, when you step in the ring with Aleister Black, you're going to get kicked a lot. Nice clothesline. As Corey astutely pointed out, opponents of Aleister Black must expect to get kicked quite a bit. But there has to be a defense against that, right, Myron? Well, I would think going after his legs would be the wise move here, Michael. Even if you can neutralize just one leg, you're going to be in a far better position than you were at the start of the match. Oh, Cole, you know Byron's defense always consisted of running away, right? It works. Out. Oh, and a spear! to the face. Whoa. Ruby Riot is not interested in red carpets auditioning for Total Divas and making personal Three. appearances. This is a cold-hearted individual who wants to take down the entire system in sports Three. entertainment. You just don't appreciate an entrepreneurial spirit, Cole. Ruby Riot embodies the punk rock ethos of do it yourself. She'll do whatever it takes to make it to the top. This match Whoa. grinded him down a little. Here it comes, Michael. Byron, you should try this once. Six. Seven. Guys, touching on Ruby Riot's punk rock mentality, this is a woman whose goal is to cause a riot. I, no one is safe. WWE superstars need to realize that as long as Ruby Riot's competing, they're walking on dangerous ground, Saxton. And if someone gets in her way, they're getting stepped on. Gets out of dodge there. Kick okay, right on point. How did Ruby Riot turn that one around? <laughs> and look at hung up on the second row. Oh, look at this aggression. She says, no thanks. Ruby Riot fading a bit. The floor the keys. Signed, sealed, and delivered. How is Ruby Riot going to remain alive? Oh, what impact. And she's getting fired up here. Showing out this could be it. Cover. And Ruby Riot kicks out. She is ready for a fight tonight. And scissors Ooh. take that. Oh, oh. Very nice. Rolling elbow finds. 
five hits mark. Ouch. Boom. Boom right in the button. Looking helpless right now. She scores big with the counter. Kick right to the midsection. Things aren't looking good for her. Salt. Boom, what impact. Straight punch, nothing fancy. And it's Ruby Riot with a reversal. Forearm to the face. Oh, nothing fancy about that. Wow, she turned that one around. And scissors Ooh, take that. Oh, oh, very nice. Oh, oh man. <laughs> what a forearm. Setting up a rolling elbow. We're gonna see here. The wheel uh -oh. for turning. Here we go. Tear the features clean off your face. He may be in a bad way here. Seven. Straight punch. Jordan. Nothing's going to stop her now. Dictating the pace of the match now. Rolling elbow finds its mark. Ouch. Ruby Riot with a reversal. All right, that will scouted. Going after the neck area. Guys, I don't know how much more that she can take. The Florida Keys! What a great move. A move so nice they did. Elizabeth's tag's over. What a win. Took it to another level to gain that win. I knew she was going to win the whole time, Michael. And it'll be interesting to see the ripple effects this win has in the weeks to come. After a couple more wins for both our teams, Trey and I would be in a position we'd never been in before. Standing across the ring from each other as opponents in the finals of the Mixed Match Challenge. Good luck tonight. Seriously. Yeah, you too. Do you mean that? Because it seems like you can't bring yourself to say the actual words. I can totally say it, but now that you told me to, it won't mean as much. Come on, just say it. Good luck. Hey look, it's your partner. How convenient. You're talking to the opposition before our match? You do realize I could give them a competitive advantage. 
My team doesn't need an advantage to beat someone who's had less than five matches. I'm pretty sure I had less than five matches when I was tapping you out in high school, and tonight will be exactly the same. Except this time, a whole lot more people will see me embarrass you. Come on, we need to discuss what we're going to do with our prize money after we win. I was thinking we donate it to victims of identity heft. It's when people identify as skinny, but they're actually really fat. I think Red might have it. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. <laughs> Introducing first, from Manila, Philippines, weighing in at 241 pounds, the World Heavyweight Champion, Ace! Guys, this one promises to be absolutely amazing. But as they say, promises are made to be broken, Michael. Though in this case, I think we're safe. And guys, despite the title not being on the line, this is still very much a big match. Of course it is, Cole. This is an opportunity for the champ to prove exactly how dominant he is. And trust me, he doesn't take these opportunities lightly. Get ready for strikes, submissions, and a vicious mean streak. It's Brooklyn Von Braun. And from Fulton, New York, Brooklyn Von Braun. As Brooklyn Von Braun makes her way to the ring, I have a feeling this might not last very long. Honestly, I think in her mind, the less time she spends with the WWE Universe, the better. She's here for business, not adoration. This guy's still a loser to me. And from Queens, New York, weighing in at 223 pounds, Kurt Hawkins! Hawkins at one point lost 269 matches in a row. It's almost impressive. Was he trying to lose? Uh, don't be so hard on him. Some people just need a little more time to figure out that winning formula. It's a good point, Byron. I mean, look at you. You've been doing this for how long, and you're still awful at it. Hawkins' legendary losing streak was brought to a close at WrestleMania 35, where he won the tag titles in front of a hometown crowd. Personally, I'd applaud a return to losing. I miss being able to predict his match results with 100% accuracy. From New York, the Queen. This is it. This is the match we've all been waiting for. And the electricity level in the arena right now is unlike anything I've ever felt. Seems to me, guys, like she's incredibly proud of what she's been able to accomplish as of late. She should be proud, Michael. It's not easy to do what she's been able to do, but she also has to be careful not to become complacent.
This is it, the finals of the Mixed Match Challenge. One of these teams will take home $500,000 to donate to a charity of their choice. Don't bury the lead, Cole. The charity part's nice, but the real story here is that best friends Red and Trey are facing each other for the first time ever. Things could get very interesting. Normally, I think you guys are just trying to stir up drama, but Red and Trey have definitely seemed a bit off lately, and this match certainly won't help matters. Ouch. Using the elbow as a weapon. Reverses. Can he make him pay? He's stuck in the corner now. In off the tag. Oh, what a forearm! Planted neck first. Ooh, treading all over their opponent. She ducks out of the way there. Oh, what a clothesline. Forcefully delivered. Face first off the knee. A striking blow. Gotta wonder how this is gonna end, Byron. It's not gonna be good. Are you kidding me? Looking bad for her here. Look out. Here we go. Tagged in. Spear! Whoa, Kurt Hawkins dodged that one. No, another reversal. Neither one of them are willing to give an inch here. Hawkins exploiting the opening. That is a great reversal. And another reversal. Seems like we're back where we began, Michael. Saw that one coming. Boom, Man. boom, persistent barrage. He's one step ahead there. Great technical know-how on display. Mention of Gutierrez! Absolutely planted. Gets the tag. Gore! Proving tough to catch. Textbook head scissor takeover. Very nicely done. Snap. Tough situation to be in right here. Oh! She's starting to tire a little. Tagged in. Nice clothesline. Big clothesline. He just cannot be caught. Oh, what a DDT! Wow. Going for the home run. There we go! Leave the nightlight on for him. It's Two. over. Three. Despite their often heated and acrimonious past, Trey and Brooklyn Von Braun have managed to win the Mixed Match Challenge. I just hope that now that this is over, there won't be any hard feelings between Red and Trey. They've been through too much together to let something like this get between them. Judging from the look on Red's face, I think that ship is sailed, and she doesn't seem to be taking this very well at all. I mean, why would she? Red just lost to her best friend and her worst enemy. I'd be angry too. Hey, what's up?
What's up? What's up with you riding with her? Relax. I offered him a ride since we're both going to the gym. Nice necklace, by the way. Real classy. Thanks. I'll get you my jeweler's info. I bet he can throw together a runner-up version in no time. Look, I know we usually ride together, but I wanted to get some extra training in since Samoa Joe basically wants to strangle me to death with his crazy cyborg arm at SmackDown 1500. I'd be happy to help you work on your submissions. After all, I had a career record of 24 and 2 in MMA. I left that necklace at home. You training me is a great idea. It could help me survive Samoa Joe, and who knows, maybe even beat him. Good. We'll get started right away. And before you say anything, I'm just looking to help. It's the only way he's going to survive the Coquina Clutch. I mean, that little reversal trick you taught him might have worked in their first match, but let's face it, he needs some real training. We'll set up a time later, partner. So what, are you friends with her now? No, it's not like that. Well, it seems like that. I mean, first you're riding with her, and now you're training with her? Did you forget this is the same person who's tormented us for 20 years? I got a ride with her one time, and besides, maybe she's changed, okay? People do that. And she was a good teammate. Good enough that we won the Mixed Match Challenge. Are you trying to rub it in? Because I think your teammate's ridiculous necklace accomplished that already. And by the way, who was in charge of handling the charity money that you won? Brooklyn. She gave it to an animal shelter in our hometown. Did it ever occur to you that maybe she took the $500,000 and spent it on that awful necklace and murder coat she was wearing? I bet the animal shelter doesn't even exist. You can't assume any of that. I'm not assuming she's a terrible person. I know that. And I thought you did too. Come on. Red. That mirror was kind of freaking me out. It feels like you're watching me from every angle. I am. But focus here. So when Samoa Joe gets you in the Coquina Clutch this time... Uh, how do you know he'll get me in it? It's a submission match, which means he'll be going for it early and often. So you have to be prepared. And what I was going to say before you interrupted me... Sorry. Won't happen again. What I was going to say is your little trick you used against him ten years ago when you rolled backwards to get the win isn't going to work this time. He'll be ready. And even if you pulled it off, it won't do any good because this is a submission Rivalry match. match. Rivalry submission match. Right. So I'm Samoa Joe, and I'm going to put you in the Coquina Clutch. Try to escape. Oh, I tap, I tap, I tap. Uh, that was uh, pathetic. I know. How am I ever going to beat Samoa Joe? I mean, once she cinches in that arm around my neck, it's all over. Goodbye, WWE Championship. Goodbye, Trachea. Goodbye, Earth. Hello, big ring in the sky. Hopefully. Okay, stop. You're spiraling. It's not about his arm. It's about his legs. Huh? I studied hours of footage of Samoa Joe locking in the Coquina Clutch. You're welcome. And I discovered a hidden flaw that's going to allow you to counter it and beat him. Give me your phone. Voice password? Trey and Peyton Royce forever? Voice recognition volume too low. Please try again. Trey and Peyton Royce forever. It's a joke. Please don't tell her. Anyway, like I said, I watched a lot of tape on Samoa Joe, and I discovered this. Watch his ankles. See how he crosses them? He does it every time. That's your opening to beat him. I, I, I don't get it. Of course you don't. Let me show you. Put me in the coquina clutch and make sure you cross your ankles like Joe does. What the heck was that? The secret to not getting the life choked out of you and walking away with your WWE championship. <sighs> wow, this is weird to say with all our history, but I don't know what I'd be doing right now without your help. I guess I've been in a charitable mood lately. Well, seriously, thanks for teaching me this. So, I guess we're good to go now? Are you kidding? You haven't actually learned how to do the counter yet. On your back. We're going to start with the hip motion. I'll film on your phone so you can watch it back later. It locked again. Trey and Peyton Royce forever! <laughs> 